the good ops that sells 60w light should you get one absolutely if you can ah get another one too to go with it the Godot's SL 60Ws do come with a remote that I've yet to have an opportunity to use yet. I did, however, use these two lights for product photography recently, and here's how I generally go about using my two light setup. I generally use one as a key that might be brighter, and then use another light as a fill light, just a little less bright. It's kind of my strategy is how I've been using my two Godot setup. These lights came in handy big time during a recent wedding that I had at nighttime using a Sinway portable power generator. That just means I literally could plug these lights in out in the middle of a field and get even more creative shots that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Food photography, these lights are perfect for that. And of course, there's a constant light making it perfect for video. And using that same key light and fill light setup I love so much is how I got these shots from a recent video here on this website. Some users were reporting that these lights were maybe too loud and were actually putting in a different fan. I don't think I will need to do that. I've sat on these lights for five minutes and had them very hot and they have not been too loud with their microphones picking it up and it's ruining interviews or shots or anything with me just talking. But I always kind of hate saying that because just because the unit you have worked doesn't mean that every unit works. It is a product after all. I think I just got lucky and got two that operate pretty fine. Another problem people have had is the Godot's creating banding with certain frame rates. Haven't encountered no problems with any banding or anything either. I think I just kind of lucked out. I really wanted to hop on here and talk to you about these lights and use all this technical jargon. And now I realize I might know a tad bit about lights, like this is 56K Kelvin, so it's pretty much daylight balance is what that translates to. And that matters for white balance, color temperature, and things like that. But I was not gonna be able to sit here and confidently spit out all the technical jargon that goes into lights like these right here. All right, I know this is kind of a weird way to end this video, but outside we've got sunshine. I'll never sing again. I'm sorry I did that. Ooh, ooh. It's, a, it's a little cool out here, but that's all right. I haven't seen the sunshine in almost a week, so I'm gonna take it in real quick. The Godot's lights that I showed in this video, they are linked below in the description. Use that link right there on Amazon. It will definitely help me out, and I would appreciate it. Also, head over to JaegerShots.com, link in more photo and the apparel that I've been rocking on this channel. All that is right there. And remember, sunlight is also a very, very good light source. So if you don't get those Godot's lights, maybe use that natural sunlight. I do it all the time. Hit that like button if you'd like and subscribe to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com. The day you've dreamt about is here forever.